We're live. Oh, today we're going to be making some really Hello, fun. Hello, this is Tim and Karen. Eh, he's interrupting me. Some really fun strip cards. So uh, stay tuned for that. But first, yes, it is Karen. And Tim. I was happy in the back. On the back. <laughs> and we, we need to start mail. with the So Fun Dap people on here. Uh, first, the first, a couple of announcements. The winner of last week's stamp set this is this awesome vertical greetings is navan knops k-n-o-p-s so all we need is an address for you you can message and we'll put that in the mail the drawing for this next week is this was a gift from sharon schleifer that was so fun she sent me an extra if any of you have ever ordered two of something by mistake um join the club <laughs> but this is a gorgeous seashells embossing folder and it stands alone it just makes gorgeous gorgeous cards it's a thick wonderful folder so she's just from nashville. commenting and sharing yes and we had a lovely time with her when you went through nashville i'm going to make it through announcements really quickly so we can get to the thing the uh card kit for this month is using the brand new beautiful um eden's garden I keep trying to say gardens even, but um, beautiful papers and dyes. And that is just available this month. And so that's pretty cool. This is the host code. And we are waiting for some <laughs> great sentences with this. That's Karen and Karen. So that's AJK3BNK7. And you can always find this just by going to KarenTitus.com. Well, okay. Can I just say that? Uh -huh. Seven and three are holy, holy numbers. So I think Karen. Okay. Karen is <laughs> He's next. He's going to put something in there. Okay. Uh, so Tim, what are you going to be doing this weekend? Uh, taking care of Hank. Yeah. <laughs> and I uh, am going on retreat with a bunch of you guys. He pops in. He brings me tea. You know, I do. he comes in and says hi. But I'm going to be hanging out with my grandson. Just for Friday. Well, both of us. Yeah. yeah. But um I'm really looking forward to it. We are completely sold out of supply kits. And I just. We are. Uh, and that was wonderful. You could still join us just with the online part. I'm just putting that out. But one of the things we're going to be talking about a lot is something I love to talk about. How how to make good use of cutting your paper so you can make a variety of cards. Just, I don't know. It, it's going to be fun. And we have lots of drawings. And we have lots of um, just getting to know each other time. So it's a little different from my classes that way. So that's really fun. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention was the starter kit is on sale just this month. Instead of $99, it is only $75. So that is a huge discount. And you get to pick $125 of anything you want in the catalog. For 75 bucks? For 75 bucks and Whoa. no shipping. Whoa. So don't you think people should oh, do it? Absolutely. And you know, there's no obligation. So I just, you just don't know. So just know that that's out there. I would love to chat with you. Feel free to call me, message me. I'll call you back. We'll chat. You can't go wrong. It's just, it is an awesome deal. So, oh, but first. But first. We've got mail. We've got mail. <laughs> we must start with that. One of our favorite things of the week is to share the fun cards we get. We've got mail. Okay. How do we do this? Oh, oh, that is adorable. Hand me the envelope. So I... Okay, this is Carol Beth Rose, also from Nashville. We met her too when we were traveling. Is that Ooh. adorable? Hey, Look boo. at that with the the um, pumpkins lined up and the little cat peeking out. That is a oh, that Ooh. is a darling Halloween card. I just love it. That is so fun. That is fabulous. Um, see, it's been a whole week since, so we've gotten these before. Halloween. So we we sat and yeah. looked. We, instead of trick-or-treating, we sat yeah, that's and looked right. at our cards. So. <laughs> we, card makers, collect cards all year round. We don't care. <laughs> it's all wonderful. And Vesta Streep sent this for Colorado, for my mom. And I just, we just so love bringing cards in. Just a little joy and a give thanks. That, that's really that's fun. very nice. Oh, that and is wonderful. Nice Thanksgiving. We, we tend to head there right after our lives on Thursday to spend some time with her. So that's what we'll be doing to do. Pat Nagy from Missouri. Oh, <laughs> this is adorable. Look at this, ready or not. Oh, that is so cute, peeking behind the brick wall. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Here comes winter. Oh, what a fun, fun card. Oh, that is hilarious. Let's, oh, let's my goodness. 
Okay. Here, Here comes, comes winter, winter, ready or not, ready either not. way works. <laughs> and this was, oh, how sweet. She put that on the back. This was the mystery card she made when we did over the back porch stampers. Every now and then I just do a quick little mystery card there. And I love doing really simple ones. This is what she did. And that is, that is just adorable. Absolutely love that. That is so did you, funny. Did you say Pat Nagy? Or yep. That's okay. Yep. Then we have Jean Keller from Minnesota, locally here. Hey there, pumpkin. Oh, how cute. I remember this. What I love this party pandas. And look at Tim, the balloon with the face. <laughs> that is adorable. It oh, is. and is that ever cute? Look at this. Oh, my goodness. In the look pumpkin at that. patch. Built up. See how, yeah, it's all built up. And that is that. I don't know. We were talking about whether it's decoupage. I know there's another name for it, too. You know, where you take the, I, I remember it's kind of a, I used to see them a lot in Victorian cards and you could get card kits back in the day, long, long time ago. But you see how those are all the same thing popped up. So if you look at them sideways, it's the same thing under it, but that is just adorable is. how he's hiding in the pumpkin. You know, this, I just have to point that out. These are just the theme of just kind of peeking out, mm -hmm. hiding. <laughs> it so fits for Halloween or any kind of fun card, you know, the stuff. A, a fun little mm -hmm. card. Oh, someone just asked, do you need a lot of inventory to start? Absolutely not. And if you are new to card making and your list is long, well, actually, I'm talking to anyone if your list is long, boy, it makes sense to just spread out your purchases, get the starter kit, get a discount, join our wonderful group where we do all kinds of extra fun things. Um, yes, you know, so I just think, and if you're starting out and you want to do it, does, oh, I, you know, I love helping people figure out what makes sense for them to buy. And you just want to get things that are going to go together so you can get started. So you can actually teach mm. classes just with what you get in the starter kit. If that, you know, I love that. So whatever you want to do with it. Beautiful. Makes card. no difference. Oh, how fun. Another one for Best of Stream for us. Oh, how fun. So there's a Thanksgiving one for us. That is so fun. So she did sent one for my mom and one for us, and I love it. I do too. Those are beautiful. Thank you. And that is so thoughtful to be doing that. That is wonderful. And thanks, you guys, for sharing. We just so appreciate it. I see Kay, and oh, that is did so wonderful. And Jean. Did you show the inside? Yes. I just love that. And let's talk a little more about these look like they're in cellophane, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know what they are. They'd be like kind of a stickery kind of thing or something. Stickery? Stickery, yes. stickery, stickery. It's Loretta Peterson from here. Oh, beautiful card. You know, I have the set and I just haven't played with it enough. That is just so cute with the yep. stockings. And look at how she's added little, little speckles on the top. That is really cute. And that's a beautiful card. Thank you, Loretta. Love it. Uh, oh, and the same person said, yes, uh, Tampa would be great for Bible journey, journaling and prayer journals. Absolutely. Carol Rose, another one. Oh, did she send us two? I just have to make sure that they're both meant for us. <laughs> and, oh, that is so sweet. We love it. We got another one from her. Oh, she's thinking of us double. I'm going to claim, we'll pretend one's for me and one's for Tim. I love this. Look at this. How cute this is, Tim. It's like four different. That is. See, this is kind of long, short, short, long. No. That is so cute. And okay, we're going to put these side by side. And you know what's fun? Don't these look like they could be made by the same person? I mean, I just love that we kind of all have our own kind of style because, you know, they just look really good together. I think that just makes a lot of sense. And look at those insides. Oh, we love it. Love it. And I love how she did the have a fab fabulous, fabulous Halloween. Did you see how that one was stamped again and cut mm -hmm. out so it's colorful and the little strip of paper? Those are gorgeous cards, Carol. Thank Fabulous. you. Thank and you. Tim is all I can do to keep these together. And they're both to Tim and Karen. So. And then we have from. Okay, I'm having trouble reading this. And this is such a wonderful, wonderful message. Okay, it is. But from... Annette, Antoinette, Brennan from, from Minnesota. Um, I love it. So I might have your name wrong. I going to tell it, but I love it. How cute is that? Oh, what fun paper. And look, she's got the spider hanging on, hanging on, the, spread, on the thread. That is wonderful. Creating a web there and then it pops Ooh. up. So like the easel cards we did the other, was it two weeks ago? That, oh, look how easy that is. Very and cool. it just mails flat. 
Oh, that is a fun card. Thank you. And our last one from Cindy Cunningham from California. Oh, how cute is this, you guys? She took the squirrel stamp set and turned it into a Valentine. I'd be <laughs> Tim, I'm really messing up. Yes. <laughs> Halloween. I'm already going on to the next. <laughs> how adorable is that? And then frightfully cute. I would say the squirrel is. So we had a, a terrible squirrel story this week. Yeah. Tim has a squirrel story. To I share. have a squirrel story. I came out to the car, opened the door, and a squirrel jumped out the window on the other side. I leave my windows down and sit outside. But this one got in. <laughs> He's not found, going to anymore. <laughs> and found, I think, a piece of, of uh, Halloween candy in my pocket of my my hoodie, my Carhartt hoodie. Yeah. Chewed Which through he the treasures. Mm -hmm. Chewed through so he the comes packet. in with a hole in his yes. go, yes. Oh no, that, that was a squirrel. Good. That's terrible. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, so that's where the thing is um, not. <laughs> I, I told I told my neighbor across the street that that happened because she has had mice in her car and she said that when she was a teenager, she rescued a squirrel and brought it back to life. And she actually still has a picture of it. Oh, that's very fun. And she had mice chewed her, uh, she got into her car wiring. and chewed the wiring. So I said, we're having a lot of uh, rodent. issues with these little rodents. So, you know, so we can have some cute stamp sets, but in real life, they're and just not so wonderful. <laughs> but the squirrel fits then with trick or treat is but what I think. It does. It, and yeah. is, a, is a squirrel a rodent? I don't know. Um, I, I, it seems you, like you it. guys will answer that. It seems like to me it's a mouse with fur on it. I have no idea. I don't know anything. This is what we're making today. Aren't these just fun cards? Gorgeous. So, oh, and this is also to introduce my next All Good Cards Club. You know, um, glad to have you join us, which is in two weeks, is going to be, it's called Skinny Strips Cards. We're going to make 20 cards using skinny strips. This is one of the 20 but there's 19 more. I think one of the fun things about having things all gathered together is just a place to go back to. You can go back and you just have them all just grouped together. So anyway. Skinny, yes. Not skinny? Or... Well, this is one inch. So we're starting with one inch and smaller. And smaller. These are okay. one inch strips. So I, I, I just still decided that we can call them skinny strip. This is three quarters of an inch and this is a Ooh. half inch. So I just wanted to show the difference. I, I just think these are just really fun. So what I told you to bring is just the one inch because it just goes more quickly. Between now I'll and make then, both. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a card with one sixteenth inch. Yes, yes, yes. Tim, Tim really wants My to favorite. do that. Okay. So we are going to, if you have your, we, I would like to know who's going to make these along with us. I thought I had six different pieces here, but these two are the same. And these are, you know, I keep... Um, I keep my papers in six by six. There things. you go. Yeah. <laughs> it has that's white in the back, the so it's not going to. So I'm using the foiled Ooh. sides. So that's okay. We're just, you know, we can, we can have duplicates. Now, mm -hmm. are we going to make our own? Well, I'll own? make this first one. Okay. And then you watch. Okay. Because you're going to make the watch. next one. Okay. So I'm going to show this first. This is with three quarters of an inch. And then this one is with half an inch. So I just love, you know, this just gets more and more detailed. The one inch ones are fastest. So we're going to start with that. And so I have my five inch by three and three quarter right here. And this is, if you don't have a silicone mat, this is just the best thing. This is what I'm going to put on here. Bring that back here. I want to just see it again. The sample. The sample. So mm -hmm. what you're doing, you're just, you're just... Take, I am just laying these out. On. Yep. So I'm just going to pick a couple. And now you could have longer than six inch. I did six inches because that includes all paper packs and it gives us lots of corners. But, you know, you can know when I really sit down to make these, I'll just take strips of anything Ooh, and then keep cutting I them. I know what you're going to do. Um, so I'm just going to start with two. I'm going to take these two. And I am... Going to just lay these on. And I'm just going to put them anywhere as long as they go on and off, off each edge, just like that. This is kind of like a 
this could fall under quilt cards. Now, what is awesome about the silicone mat? Look, at, it's not going to stick. I can pull this. I mean, it's not going to stick like to paper. Mm -hmm. it, it can stick a little bit there, especially because mine is a little. You you have a nice clean I have one. A brand new one. Yeah, you have a nice clean one. And okay. I have a brand new tape dispenser too. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do just to be speedy here. Look at I'm going to put some tape on all of these ends. And then I'm just going to take these and start placing them. These wherever I want, just leaving a gap. Now, how cool is this? I just think this is such a fun. Very cool. Way to do things. Let's see. I'll put this one there. And you can mix and match how we're doing these. Oh, I'm hearing a bunch of squirrel stories, so that's wonderful. <laughs> Marilyn had squirrels too, the wires in the car they had in storage. They started putting mothballs in the trunk. Oh, you know, that would make sense. Um, someone was telling us to get the cheap Dry, air sheets. dryer sheets too that are really smelly. So I suppose anything smelly, you know, that is just kind of a fun idea. And I see that I can make them go this way again. Okay, now how easy is that? Now, this is what's nice. Oh, okay, I, yeah, here's my scissors. I'm going to just snip off some ends here. At the very end, I will trim this, of course. Oh, so you're not doing it exact. No, this doesn't need to be exact. Because now I have some more to work with. Mm -hmm. I have some more ends. Here's why I like doing six by sixes, because you want more square ends. If I'm doing 12 inch pieces, I'm just going to have to go cut some of these, but that's fine too. And just see, I'm just going to pull these in. Oh, I did the wrong end of that one. I have to do these kind of ends. And then I'm just looking for the end. little parts. Okay, we'll do that one. And we'll hope this one works good because it's the one that's, oh, but I did the wrong end of that one because <laughs> I want the square ones. How cool is that? Very cool. And then so this is what's fun. Do you see how this will just pull up? If I did this on my table, everything's sticky or it pulls up the paper with. It actually, you don't believe that, Tim? You, you do. This is no, so you do a lot oh. on your table because our dining room oh. <laughs> table, our <laughs> dining room table has I should, tracks yes. all over it. I should put a picture on there. Yes. <laughs> oh, someone asked me last time, why don't you use your new new? Why don't you have a new Stampin' Up trimmer yet? Because I guess this isn't the brand new. Oh, I I have them both. I have trimmers. You know, where whatever's handy to grab. <laughs> don't put it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this in, and I'm just going to tell you guys that this isn't. Because close enough is close enough. Yeah, but I would, this is going to be a little tricky. I use a chopping, chopping thing myself. And, okay, yeah, I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to let you clean that up. Okay, so I'm just going to go around and I'm going to do all my edges. And it probably would be good to mark some of these off first. And, you know, I, I can keep using these, which is fun. As if I'm making a bunch of these, all these little ones. Uh, we're not worried about it now, but all those little ones will fill in all the details. So I would put this on my chop and um, my guillotine cutter. It's just what I'm whoa, more familiar with. So this might not work out totally perfectly, but I'm trying to give the idea here. <laughs> I'm trying to show. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much <laughs> who, as I am. Who else? Well, who else prefers what kind of cutter? What what do you guys prefer? Let's just ask that. That would be a, I, a I good have, question. I like scissors. Yeah. Because <laughs> you you just get such straight edges on those. You just love it. Okay. But now how cool is this? Nice. And now I'm gonna put this on gold. So this is all I had you bring, because then you can decide what you want to put this on. Because this could be your card. Now I want to put it on gold. And of course, so my gold. My next sheet is five and a quarter by four. And people yelled at me the last time I didn't cut the inside out. So, okay, okay, I'll take the extra time. They yelled at you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. They said, how can you waste that? You know, when you're using the foil paper, it's more expensive. Yes. So do you see how now I have another really great accent for a card? And you'll never know it but because it's going to be covered. She takes my allowance and buys <laughs> yes. expensive paper. So I never see... My full allowance. Okay. So now how cool is this? So this is how it's done. And somehow I seem to not have the, so we're just going to pretend here. So we have the one inch. Now, now I'm going to have Tim do a one inch one next. 
Okay, Christine likes her guillotine. Yeah, I and I love the guillotine that we used to sell. I I agree. I I just think it's great. So, um, do 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 you have a preference on the sizes? Do you think it makes a big difference? And this one I put pink instead of the other, so it's just a difference. But well, not they're the same. These are different. Well, it's just different widths. But this is different than that. They look the same. Yeah. Okay. No, nope. I'll do the middle. Okay. And you can kind of see you there, just do the there, middle? there are more pieces. So the smaller yeah. you get, the more pieces. So I thought we will each work on a card for this yeah. next one. And I will give you the big pieces. Okay. Okay. The middle size pieces. And this, well, they're the big ones. Yeah. Big. No, it's not middle because the middle is done. Okay, do you want to see the middle? Here's the middle card already done. Oh, that one's already mind. taken. Oh, oh, no, that's the little one. <laughs> Never mind. Never, Never mind. mind. Okay. I will... So Tim is going to do the one-inch ones. Okay, and I'm going to do it. On oh, here. and I guess I'm going to do the three-fourths just because there's more pieces. Okay. So do you, do you care for speed? Because this is um, a contest, Tim. To okay. See who gets... <laughs> okay. Move over. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we're going to share I this want... space. I want people to vote. And I've got me. the gold, but would you rather switch and have the gold? Oh, it's totally up to you. Well, I'm going to make this green paper so beautiful okay. <laughs> that you're going to vote for me. Now, on the one-inch ones, we're just using six is a good number. When I go to the others, I actually like to do more. And you have got your tape right there. You can go ahead and do it. Um, because it really saves on the cutting. It's cu It cuts it a little close. Ooh. If you're going to do it. So you're going to just do whatever you want, Tim. I know, I'm going to make mine I go am. the other I've way. Already started to okay, do that. so I'm going to make mine go there. And then I'm going to go. And okay, we're... so we're doing this first. Now we'd have some music, but then we'd get in copyright trouble. So we can't do that. <laughs> and see, this one's even a short piece, but I put it in here because it was the right width. So, um, and we're using all pieces out of the same, like all of these out of our Eden's garden, but you could do a whole hodgepodge, just kind of like, it would make me think more of like a crazy quilt, kind of a kind of a thing. Let's see, did I do any of these? And I am just going to cut this. And you can use either side. Here I did one of the non-foil sides. Am I, I'm, I'm oh, Karen. But I don't like that side. I am side. doing that. Oh, you are. I am. I don't like that what side is, just because it looks plain. So, okay, I'm going to switch to this one. I'm surprise people. Oh, okay. But this isn't looking that good. <laughs> okay. His commentary as now. he goes along here. <laughs> you okay, you guys, you guys know you have time to work along with us now. If you've got your paper, <laughs> you can just start creating your own. Because then you know what happens over in the back porch stampers. You guys all share your work. And so we see lots of other papers, lots of other designs. Um, yeah, most of you. I, okay, I'm going to count these up, you guys, and give back a report. Most people are liking a guillotine. <laughs> Colleen says she just sorted a whole bunch of scraps. So this would be a really fun idea. Yes, Stampin' Up! sells a silicone mat. And what a great little gift if you need a gift for a crafter. I like having a couple of them because I use them all the time. Someone can look up what page. It costs like $6, so it's just a nice little stocking stuffer. Maybe you just need a stocking stuffer for yourself. You know? <laughs> but I think it's wonderful. Let's see. What else do I need in here? So we are just working along here. And <laughs> yes, I we are. love... Whoop, okay, I, I want that one. I'm going to have it come over here. <laughs> Hard to share space, but you know, that's kind of life, right? <laughs> and then I'm going to come through and cut some of these off on the edges here. So then, and when I cut these off, then it's really nice because I have another square down there to work with. So that's what's pretty awesome. And see, do you see how the silicone mat, it just picks right up. So it just it isn't going to stick to that so it's just the best little the best little tip thing and then as i get to the outer edges i'm just looking to see what else okay i've got this one let's and i'm just making them go different ways so i don't get a scissors oh would you like a scissors i would Tim? like a scissors. here's a scissors 
Thank you. Oh, you're doing weaving. I'm doing all kinds of things. Okay, so see, he's making it also. Now, now weaving may or may not be one of the other 20 ideas to strip cards. J just telling you, he might be ahead of the game here. But, you know, we all like 20 ways organized and ready and, and beautiful. So I just have to point that out. Okay. The other thing that's cool, you know, when you get to the edges like this, you have a choice. I'm going to go ahead and put things in there. But if you don't want to, when you trim this, you can always trim this a little smaller. So it's a great kind of saving thing because you can always, like this piece could all, would look nice, just even a quarter inch smaller and then on the same background. So you have a lot of leeway what you do with things like that. So, so I love that. And I'm going to make a few more of these after with the leftovers when we're done. After this is over, because I love sending these cards out. All of them could have words on the front too. You know, any kind of a sentiment. I am choosing to leave them very plain because I just think they're very striking. And, but I know that we'll see lots of awesome ideas for what else you could do for the front. Okay, I need one last little piece here. And let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this one. And I don't know. So what do you think, Tim? I don't know. Whoops. Oh, I need to put a little more tape on the edge there. Go right to the edge. Okay. So that one's done. And then see, I can just do this and I can just peel it all off. And, and it will all just stay right on there. Perfect. Okay, my little one came off of here. Okay. Okay. Pretty weird. And now I am not, oh, that one needs more tape. Okay, so I can just start cutting these off? Yep. And I'm not going to take the time to actually do the cut guillotine off. cutter. I'm just going to look at this on the back side. So if you turn too. over on the back side, and it'll oh, be good enough too. to show where we're at for right yes, now. Yes, it will. And then when the show is over, I'm going to go to my guillotine cutter <laughs> and do the actual trim and the rest of the card assembly because <laughs> that's just the way we do it. <laughs> I think this is cool. And this will just tell me if I have any missing parts, I can just go through and fill those in. <laughs> if I have any missing parts. <laughs> okay. Oh, see, I love it. And then I'm going to just set all these aside. I think, and I'm going to show you some more, and then I'm going to make another one, make a last one too, or something else a little different. So we're going to have to visualize this because this isn't completed, but these are just the different lengths. So I'll, these will be on my blog tomorrow, you know, so we'll have the different. Um, see, mine's, that, well, mine's complete because I think I'm going to do it different. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's going to do his own thing. So they'll be on there, but I thought, how fun. So um, yes, if. If you're going to take our class on this, the All Good Card Club, you're going to want a silicone mat because we're going to be working a lot with strips. And the narrow where your strips are, so let me show you this too. If I have a narrow, I could go narrower than this, but I'm just going to go with this. But let's pretend this is really narrow and I'm doing this. So see, it's narrower than this. Look how that just sticks right to my paper and then it rubs off uh, on the mat and it's not on my paper. That's the beauty of doing this. So you're definitely for that class going to want that. So we'll just throw that out. While he's working on that, <laughs> let me show a couple more. Here's another one that's one inch. This was actually the one I did first. So see all kinds of scraps, any kinds of colors. And then there's a, another new paper coming out. Do you know another reason you might want to think about getting the starter kit is that then you are a demonstrator and you can order from the January catalog in December instead of January. We get to order everything early. This is one of the new papers that's going to be in that. So that's just another little plus in there. So here's the one inch, three quarters inch, and the half inch. Uh, and I would like to count up votes too on which size you like best. And I always think it's kind of fun if you want to be, well, the one inch ones are just speedier because there's fewer pieces to put in, but the, the others aren't any harder. So it's just kind of a matter of time. Okay, Tim, did you? I think I'm done. Okay. Kind of. Looks good. Looks good. If you want another layer, this is what we're wondering. Oh, 
Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. There's Tim's card. Bring it down a little. <laughs> what he does. So, what do you think, Tim? It's all right. See, and he did it the same as mine, but look at he's got his one accent. So, let me also point out this one accent could be even where you put words. You could have a word strip mm. going across as one accent. So, that's just be had, creative and think of all moved. kinds of fun things you can do. But these, that one and that one is the opposite side of what Karen was suggesting. So, these, these two are. The most different. Oh, yes. Okay. Or maybe that one is too. I don't know. I think this is the most different because it goes over the other. It totally no, takes away all the rules, Tim. Okay. Uh, totally, you know, but that's totally. that's kind of you. So that work really it works. Is. No, <laughs> ideas are only there to be changed. A I mean, that's line. what, that's what, yes, they're, just, they're just ideas. No, but I actually like that little twist. So that's very fun. Okay, the half inch and three quarters inch by far seem like the most. So I love, love, love this card. I love this paper. This is paper we're using this weekend. But the only option left, if you haven't joined us, if you want to do the online, I'm just telling people, take whatever paper you have, because you can still create your own, your own um, ideas with it. And this is not one of the cards from this weekend. This is for like class. It. But I just love this paper. We are working with this paper and looking at all different ways to cut it to maximize our use of the paper. But I absolutely love this. And now what I thought I would change this time. Oh, here I have my background you're again. Do more. So this I'm, I'm doing copper. Yeah, I'm now done. you're okay. I'm going to use I'm yours because yours is totally non-messy. Okay. So this time I'm going to use, look at this, all different sizes. So now this is truly a scrap one. I love this. It's big enough that you can see the birds. And you'll notice these are longer. These are, again, just scraps. So because this one's longer, I'm going to make this come all the way up to the edge because I just kind of mm -hmm. liked those little birds. Now I have to look and see what I have in a narrow. I'm going to do a narrow one next to it. Let's see if this is big enough. Sure, let's do one of those. And But I'm going to do this the same way. What I think is really fun about this is there is no right or wrong way to do it. You know, this is all just filling in whatever you want it to be. That's why I enjoyed it so much. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to put that in. And I'm going to look at my other sizes here. Let's see. I'll do another one of this. This way. So there's where we like to just take an idea and then just kind of change it up. We need some more little ones in here. So we'll do this one. Okay, I'll do this one. They're, they're quite similar, but that's okay. Let me see if we have a, I'm going to see what kind of backsides I have. Okay, I want to have this one. I'll put this one in there. Isn't that fun? I think this is just really fun how this goes around. What I found was around. Um, when you get, if you get too small of a space there, it's hard to keep it on. Yeah, and then my trick tip would be to cut cut your whole thing smaller. So you could even start with this piece being a little bigger if you wanted to. So I'm going to cut some of these because I want to use the other mm. square end. Whoa, I think I just cut that one off. Let's look and see if I did any damage to it. Oh, I did. Look at that. My card just became smaller. <laughs> but it's not being thrown away. See, it'll still work. So it's totally good, but I won't have to quite <laughs> fill that in. So it's pretty funny. Okay, so we'll put this one in here. And let me see what else I have here. Let's do this back back one. Whoa, on the floor. Now, if I didn't want those back, here's another one. Let's see if any of these are small enough to... Okay, this one's going to be... I'm going to do this. I know that this one's going. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, okay. I'm thinking aloud here. Here's what I'm going to do. I don't know if it's helpful or not, but I know this is going to be cut down. So I'd like to maximize my use here. So if I put this one in, I won't need to worry about that little piece. That's what's kind of fun about this. Does that make sense? No. Oh, it makes no sense. Okay, but least, that's okay. At least to me, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, but it's but it's fine. And then this one, put 
this one in. See, I'm gonna make this all a little smaller because so then I can just be done right there. If you didn't cut it down, you think people would notice? That it's, um, that it's I would notice, but I guess we could, you know, they're just cards. So we can yeah. kind of mess with them however they want. And I do have one of these finished, so I will show you a finished one here. But I thought this is just kind of fun. I think seeing all the little different things you can do here. And then I'll do this one, which is, see, I'm going to put that one, um, I'm going to put that one in for a little one there. But I have all my little scraps here. So see, this is truly a scrap card. And now when you look at this, you think, okay, they don't even need to be the same size. You really can, nor do they need to be from the same paper. You can do more of a crazy quilt, but also anything that just has colors that are pleasing together. Um, and now if I wanted to use any of these, I would just cut them off straight again. Let's see what I have left. I have this one left that has a straight edge. So that's what I'm looking to see. So I can put this one on. And I'm just going to tear that one off. Okay, that's very cool. And I think that just is probably going to be enough to finish that. So I'll show you a finished one. Okay, but mm -hmm. let's answer the question. How are you going to make that all small? Are you going to use your cutter? I'm using my cutter and I'm going to be this piece was five by three and three quarter. I'm going to cut it down to four and three quarter by three and a half. Would that be right? Can we do it for the camera? Um, would you use your slicer? I would use my slicer. You could entertain them while I go do that. Okay. Well, but let me, <laughs> I was going to show one other, see one of these cards that I have. Okay. I, I showed this out of this new paper coming. Well, I have one in here that I actually added another layer, I think, but um, I know I did, but I don't remember. Oh, here, here's one. This one, I <laughs> have another layer, so this is what I wanted to show. Do you notice this one has, this, this was cut down. So it has three layers, whereas this card just has the two. Hmm. You see how that's the yep. difference? So when I cut this one down, the thing that will be fun is just going to be a little smaller. You put it I can two. do it like this. I can add another color or I can just let one of these be bigger in between as filler because we always look at those quarter inch. So that's what I love because you can do this with anything. And here, I, and I really like this. This is with a hodgepodge, all kinds like of that. sizes. And I thought I, I really like I really like both. So I am thrilled with this card because I just know we're going to see so many fun ideas. And I just love all of these looks. And I just did a few papers today. So what did I use to do the center cut? Oh, that's a great idea. I used the rectangle dies. You could use anything, including, okay, but including if you had punches, came back to us now. Um, but I thought this is a nice size. And then because this is this nice stitched look, this is going to make a really pretty background, you know, to put something for another card. I will put a link to sign up for the class coming up. If you go to, um, uh, I will put, in fact, I don't even know if the link is live yet, but you can go on my blog to the All Good Cards Club, but I will put up a link. Um, I know Holly's working on the link for just this class. And the thing about my class is if you sign up, Monthly, it's only $15 a month. You use whatever you have, and we just have a good time. And you can always um, stop and start again. So I'd sign up on the monthly plan. It just makes bookkeeping much easier at or accounting or whatever, because you can stop after one class. So it doesn't matter, but you get the cheaper price doing that. So, And they do have a good time, because I'm usually in the next room, because <laughs> my kitchen is right next to this. And there's a lot of yucking it up. And people are always wondering what Tim is in the kitchen cooking. So, <laughs> but, it, but it's all good. So we're going to do 20 different ways of using these strip cards. And then they just think they're all organized. You have the PDF. You can go back forever. So I, I just love kind of fun classes like that. I like having things organized. And the best part is it's like this. We meet three times and everyone shares their ideas. So we're covering a lot of territory in each of the classes. I shouldn't come up with 20, you know, 10 might have been more reasonable. But, you know, I, I love, I just can't stop <laughs> So we love it, you guys. Um, why does one start? Oh, okay, half this money. Why one started down? One would start with um, the the one that I was cutting down was because uh, two reasons. You might want to cut it down because maybe you have a little part left like this. I'm going to put it back down again. Maybe you have a little part left like this. Uh huh. That 
you just don't feel like cutting more little paper. If I cut another quarter inch off of these, I've taken care of that little there spot. But the reason I was cutting it down was because I chopped this off <laughs> by mistake when I was cutting, cutting my paper. And I don't want it to go goofy like that. So yeah. I will just cut it down a quarter inch all the way around. And when you're framing your cards, it doesn't matter. It makes that part just a little bit smaller, which is also a gorgeous look. So I just love that you have a whole lot of freedom with what you do with this. And I just think any quilter is going to love cards like this. You guys, a set of cards in four different color combinations would be a really fun gift to give someone who quilts. And this little mistake here is probably maybe the second mistake you've ever made. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Years. That's right. Uh-huh. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I think it's just fine to make mistakes because uh, mistakes are like happy accidents. They're opportunities. And I think that we, we learn how to salvage things. You know, one of my favorite sayings was my layered card didn't start that way. You know, <laughs> you start covering a mistake. You just can add a layer. <laughs> so we're all good at that. And we just love hanging out with you guys. You guys are just absolutely wonderful. Thank I will you. come back. Uh, Darcy said she likes the different sizes. You know, I think that's fun too. And I think if I were giving a gift, it would be fun to give them in different sizes, different papers, different sizes. You know, because there's like a similar theme and yet they're all very unique. So these will all be up on my blog tomorrow. Karen, Karen likes to hold them down here as I if know, you could I see know. them. But I know. This is what she's showing. But I think it is just so fun how all of these different cards and colors look just great. And I like to now and now over in the back porch stampers, you know, we do a drawing every Wednesday for someone who has contributed just taking one of these. Uh, and doing whatever you do with it. So that's very fun in addition to everything else you make. So thanks you guys for spending this time and we'll see a bunch of you this weekend and we'll see everyone else on Monday. Thanks everyone. Have a good weekend. Goodbye. Bye.